this is sort of like an Amazon 250 I don't know if I can anyway it's like one of those um, so legitimacy probably not the thing about this circuit is I had a fake 460 on there had experimental snubbers and I figured I'm definitely gonna have to change that around putting a 250 on there and it seemed like I actually did I'm not real sure why yet but I've got this bootleg recovery stage over here which I'm not I can't even remember what I was doing but I basically just have a diode coming off one of the uh, primary leads and that's got it looks like like three four hundred nanofarad on there probably some more caps underneath and then I've just got some resistors over here bleeding that off because you know otherwise what would happen those will just over overcharge by doing that and the addition of this janky snubber over here it's actually got a very large too large of a capacitor for some reason I can run this and I can turn it up to uh, 120 volts and it actually doesn't really stress the power supply a whole lot whereas without that setup for some reason driving this coil it was just killing the power supply there's no way I could cut it up to uh, 100 volts especially the way I'm powering this using this inverter so this little guy right here you know as per usual um, you know this 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 battery supply is the powerhouse for pretty much so many of my little coils you know so it's also using that battery to power this inverter which I'm running through the variac so feeding that a modified square modified sign it's like a ramp square so while it doesn't run amazing I get decent sparks for just the uh, single-ended switch right there and I'm not sure what kind of tuning I'd have to do to, to make it turn amazing only other thing is you know I've, I've got it filtered so it'd be interesting to see how staccato would run on this but I'd have to uh, switch that cap out to do that using this interrupter I'm gonna cut it to uh, 120 on here That, as per usual, is cutting my phone out real easy, probably because I got this interrupter sitting on my lap. I'm just going to leave it at the uh, burst mode setting that it's at. I'm going to set the interrupter down just to show it a little bit. It out good too, so I'm not going to be able to demo this a whole lot, but I'm just going to sit back real far and then zoom in a little bit. <laughs> so again, up at 120. too late something like that's decent and uh, you know I can get pretty similar output from some lower voltage setups I've been playing with but uh, you know again this doesn't have to be as complicated but single 250 takes 170 um, VDC not bad get pretty decent output but that output you know when you play with it it looks more like a solid state Tesla coil fed mains voltage as compared to some of these other ones I've been playing with the uh, low voltage deals they've got a very particular sort of small sword spark output wondering if I could get away with a uh, 200 volt ceiling I was able to kind of block the little breakout point and pull some pretty impressive arcs I mean you could run this just like a regular Tesla coil, I was getting any type of interrupted output and it looked pretty good um, and pulling pretty decent long arcs. But the problem is without the breakout point, you know, once I got up to a certain voltage, that's what killed the uh, MOSFET. And I'll probably need a higher, uh, you know, drain maximum voltage for the FET, you know, like four or 500 volts to be able to do that. You know, again, as long as you have a breakout point, it seemed like it runs no problem at uh, 120 for the setup so again I'm, I don't really know what the hell is going on with that janky test number setup I had going on but it just for whatever reason it you know it needs it to run 